<clears throat> what up guys, Annie Tier Guild Forever, giving you guys a brief little review for um uh, Smallville episodes ten through twelve. Been a hot minute since we reacted to Smallville, hasn't it? But I will have to admit this was uh I'm not sure if we ever did hit the like goal or not. I completely forgot, but um whatchamacallit? This was from a donation from uh Danny. Danny did uh, very he decided he decided to donate in order to get these episodes out so if you love these episodes make sure to thank Danny because it's thanks to him we have these episodes all right give him a thanks and what you might call it uh, what was I gonna say again was gonna say. anyway before I get into the reaction uh, reaction review let me get into my usual spiel don't forget to like comment Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, as well as watch this video from beginning to end. This particular video right here, like this YouTube video, okay? Um, after all, we want to hit that YouTube algorithm, and I want to try to finally become monetized on YouTube. I feel like that's more the goal for me, either to get monetized or hit 2K, one of the two. So yeah, very appreciative you guys can help me out with that one. And, um, and if you don't want to watch this entire review video, Watch as much as you can. And if the bare minimum, not even that, at least hit the like button before exiting, before you exit out of this video, at least hit that like button. Because again, you want if you guys want to see more episodes of Smallville, make sure to hit that like button that still applies to this video. 20 likes or more, and I can guarantee a set of three episodes for Smallville. So if you want to see Smallville reactions, hit that like button, all right? But uh, anyway, let me get into the review itself. Man, all I just got to say, I, I actually do miss this series. It gives me such early 2000 feels, and I absolutely adore that about this show. This sh I was about to say show. 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 Enunciate your words, please. Show. <laughs> so that that's the one thing I really do like about it. It gives me early 2000s feel. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a 90s kid. I grew up a lot, though, in the early 2000s and, I, and all that stuff. So um, seeing, like, series or episodes that give off really early 2000 feels warms my heart a lot. For God's sake, I almost teared up in the ending thing because the music felt... I felt the music. I felt uh, how the story, story was done. And overall, it is a very, very good story. Like, I love the series in general. If anything, like, low-key, I can't even wait to get into the next couple episodes. So, please, guys, <laughs> like up the video so I can have more of an excuse to watch more. Um, for my Common Rider fans, as um, episodes will be out tomorrow. I apologize for that. Also, I apologize for on Patreon if it's a little slow. Um, uh, what was I doing yesterday? I was busy yesterday. I, uh, I was busy. Yeah, yeah, I definitely was busy. That and Pokemon. <laughs> that and Pokemon. So I apologize on that, guys. It's mainly Pokemon, and I was busy with something else. But I'm going to get my act back together. I need to start working on videos again. Even though, personally, I don't even think I'm that far in Pokemon. I've only got, like, what? One badge? So, <laughs> Pokemon, Brilliant, Diamond, and Shining Pearl, for those of you that are confused. So, yeah. But, uh... A lot of these episodes were very shocking turn of events, especially the kid that end up having uh, Clark's uh, powers, so to speak. Even though that end up being more of a curse for him than anything. But it makes me wonder if Clark ever did, if Clark was a normal human, because we all know that Clark isn't exactly human. Maybe it's just him, maybe that's just who he is, but... If Clark was a normal human being, and if he just randomly out of nowhere had powers one day, would he have made the same mistake as this kid, um, what was his name again? Eric? Was it Eric? I don't know, I forgot. But, um, would he have still made the same mistake as this kid? It really makes me think about that, because, like, if he still acted the way he does now, granted, as I stated, Clark isn't exactly normal. He's a Kryptonian, so maybe it goes into his biology, but or maybe this is just him being him. Maybe he was always this um, 
this good-natured person in in his soul even though I will admit it is kind of a little sad to see Clark lose his uh, to, like not lose like it's a little sad for him getting his powers back because he was just getting used to the idea of um you know becoming normal even even if it was just for one day that basketball game that he had with Whitney and his friend forgot his name but um he was happy with it because at the very end it's like hey I got to enjoy a game and it was fun overall but either way I mean it's pretty obvious to everyone Clark was going to get his powers back because due to the fact like there's nobody else that can really use his powers responsibly as well as he can because he was born with them and he was raised with them it almost feels like every episode he's discovering something new with his powers but the one thing that always that he always that always seems to hinder him is the kryptonite i don't think i've ever seen in the dc story where kryptonite can just give people powers i don't think i've ever remembered that or is that just something that they added to the story to have all these supernatural events happen either way i'm perfectly fine with it i can't wait to see um what other threats come his way because it seems like we're still going through the process of him dealing with other people that have this that have powers due to the effects of the kryptonite i wonder how long is it going to keep up for and it starts going to other stories that more help propel the character clock clark forward into who he's meant to be which is superman i wonder when are we going because it feels like don't get me wrong i definitely enjoy the whole kryptonite giving people powers clock clark has to stop it there's a certain charm about this series that really just feels like it's a pe like to me personally it's very appealing i love it a lot more than most series i'm reacting to i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm gonna be 100 percent honest but that's just my personal opinion again i'm a 90s kid early 2000s like this stuff is like what i l enjoy watching I love watching OG stuff. That's just me. Maybe that's a sign of me getting old. I hope not. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was very, it was very great to see the series again. Can't wait to check out more. So please like it up, guys, if you want to see more. Um, again, I have no problem with the Kryptonite. I call it the Kryptonite arc. And I'm wondering what is 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 that? What majority of the story is going to be like? Or if we're going to get something else to help develop Clark and again into Superman when eventually he gets to that point. Now, I'm assuming this series ends when he officially becomes Superman. Or are we going to get some acts of him being Superman before the actual ending happens? I mean, either way, I'm fine. Please don't tell me. I don't appreciate spoilers, so do not tell me whatsoever. But, um... I also like the wholesome nature of the series. It definitely feels very, I don't know, maybe it's relatable to me because I lived I lived out a lot of these times in like I lived out my elementary school years, middle school years, high school years uh, during these times, like when uh, all this stuff was happening, you know, high school, uh, best friends, dating, this, like a lot of this is very, very, it, it's making me remember a lot of my early years in school and I appreciate it for it. I do. I honestly do. It makes me kind of look back and wish like I could just experience my high school years again. Lo low key, low key. Then again, not everyone had the best high school. I'm not saying my high school years were the best. Trust me, they were not. But um, I was happy with it. I was definitely happy with it. And I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, I feel like if, I feel like my middle school years were my favorite though. I feel like it was middle school that was my favorite i don't remember i don't know <laughs> well i do remember but eh, eh, not like not like super detailed but uh yeah that's pretty much it for this one guys um hashtag what should i call the hashtag at the end of the, for this video hmm. i guess hashtag um Hashtag Chloe and Lana because uh, assuming that's her name if I get it wrong just say what her actual name is because uh, apparently now we know that Chloe has a thing for Mr. Clark 
Kent. I didn't know that. I mean, but damn, that, ooh, that, Lord have mercy, that girl. Mm. Then again, she is in high school, but I'm sure about now, she's about like, she's, I'm pretty sure she's older than me. I think when this came out, I was still in elementary school, low key. Uh, I think, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, Lord have mercy. But, <laughs> anyway, yeah, hashtag Chloe and Lana or Laura or whatever her name is. Okay, sorry, it just, I don't know why it slips my mind. I will have to admit, the other, the other thing that, that is very compelling about the story has to be, like, how Clark develops as a character, as well as his relationship with his crush. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, those two are the main driving forces of the series for me. The whole kryptonite thing, yeah, that definitely contributes a lot, but that kind of acts as, like, the problem as well as a problem that Clark himself needs to settle. But either way, I can't wait to see more. Remember, guys, 20 likes or more for another set of three episodes. Peace, I'm out.